Let me let the ushers know. Uh, we got a few seats here and there. So just uh, we're going to scoot over and make room. We, uh, in, um, in addition to the announcement that you read this week in First Press about our tree keeping the heat from uh, coming on because the tree creates warmth by that thermostat. This morning we noticed that it, it turned the air conditioning on. Um, so that's quite a Christmas tree we have there. So if, uh, if, if, you're, if you're cold this morning, I think it's all the more reason to sit close to whoever you're worshiping with uh, and worship with such vigor and intensity that it just adds its own warmth to the room. But uh, um, but anyway, it's kind of a nice little metaphor of that Christmas tree. But welcome. We hope you'll sign the friendship sheets once, uh, once your row is filled. If someone comes and joins your row uh, after it's been passed, pass it back to them so we can have a record of everyone being here today. I do want to thank uh, all the folks involved in our music program today, our choirs, our handbell ringers, our uh, accompanists, uh, our, our orchestra, the, the folks in the orchestra are named at the bottom of your bulletin. Some of those are our, part of our church family. Others we've come to know because they're with us uh, every year. We're grateful uh, for them. And at least one or a few of these folks, as soon as they leave here today, are going to play uh, in the Nutcracker. So it's a busy day for them, but we appreciate them uh, uh, sharing their talents with us uh, so that this service can be such a, a special experience of worship. Just a few announcements. So one, I hope that you noticed as you came in today all the, the structural steel that's now in place in our uh, building that's uh, kind of taking shape. And the contractors were especially glad to have that in place because it meant they could put the Christmas tree on top. So if you didn't notice, there's a, there's a lit Christmas tree on the top of our new building. Uh, uh, which is, so, so look at it on your way out if you missed it coming in. A reminder that there's a, a tomorrow night at one of our annual events, a Presbyterian Women's and Men's uh, reception and dinner, 6 o'clock and 6.30. If you have not yet made a reservation for that, I think there's some spaces left, but give us a call first thing in the morning if you'd like to come to that. It's always a fun event for us. Wednesday, our schedule's a little bit adjusted. There is no early birds, but we do have the midweek service and lunch. The session meets Wednesday night, receiving new officers, so uh, that's an important gathering for us. The, the, uh, another announcement, uh, uh, upcoming event, uh, time is running out for you to get a discounted rate for the Montreat All Church Retreat. It's the first full weekend in March. But if, but if you make your reservation between now and the end of the year, and again, time's running out, you get a discount on the uh, registration fee. It's going to be a great weekend. We have a wonderful speaker lined up. The food's always good, great at Montreat. The fellowship will be uh, wonderful. We hope you'll come and join us. We've got a group who's already signed up, already taking advantage of the discount, so we hope you will join them. Most important announcement today is the schedule for the services this coming weekend. Saturday is Christmas Eve. Uh, we're going to uh, conduct all three of our traditional services, the children's service or children and family service at 5, the service of lessons and carols at 7, and the, the uh, candlelight communion service at 11. Uh, the next morning, Christmas Day, we'll have one service, 10 o'clock. For some of you, your Christmas will be long over by then, uh, and so because your Christmas will have started early. For others of you, maybe you'll sleep in and you'll do your Christmas after the worship service. But come uh, together, early service folks, 11 o'clock service folks, it'll be nice to all be together on Christmas morning. There's no scheduled uh, Sunday school uh, next Sunday morning, but we will gather for worship. And so we hope you'll come and be with us. But again, we're grateful that you are here with us on this special day of worship and music and song. And so I invite you to take a moment now to prepare for this time of worship as we ready ourselves for the processional hymn.
Trusting that the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting, let us join together in the prayer of confession. Let us pray. God of grace and truth, in Jesus Christ you came among us as a light shining in darkness. We confess that we have not welcomed the light or trusted good news to be good. We have closed our eyes to glory in our midst, expecting little and hoping for less. Forgive our doubt and renew our hope so that we may receive the fullness of your grace and live in the truth of Christ the Lord. At this time of the year, we celebrate God's coming into the world. But we celebrate His coming because He came into the world not to condemn us, but to redeem us. Trust and believe this good news. In Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen.
as far as we know, we don't have anyone in the hospital this week, though if you know of someone, please let us know. We have had three funerals here in the church uh, this week. Many of you know, uh, middle of the week, Henry McFadden's service and Menifee Little service, both wonderful celebrations of the lives of longtime members here. A service yesterday uh, for a, a little lady that many of you may not have known, Miriam Bola, who'd been a member here for some time, but had lived the last uh, years of her life out at Mayview, died at the age of 98, outlived all of her family. Uh, but Bob conducted a, a graveside service yesterday, and a handful of members of First Presbyterian Church came, those who over the years have been visiting her and keeping up with her, which means that even though she outlived her family, her church family, was still a part of her life, and that's a testimony to what it means to be a part of the body of Christ. And so we uh, remember those folks who have joined the church triumphant. Let's now join together in a time of prayer. Let us pray. God of grace, we gather today to worship you and adore you. From our places of weakness, we come seeking your strength. From our places of captivity, we come seeking your deliverance. From our places of brokenness, we come seeking your healing. Grateful that you have made all this available to us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Gracious God, today we are especially thankful for the gift of music. For without it, we could not worthily magnify and praise your name. We thank you especially for those who've been given the gift of music. And for those who've taken that gift and nourished it and cultivated it and then offer it back to you in the form of praise. We thank you for singers and musicians who offer themselves to you today. And we pray that all of us together, as we orient ourselves to you, celebrating the gift of the Nativity, we pray that our worship will be a fit offering for you and be gladly received in the throne room of heaven. Lord God, hear these and all of our prayers, for we bring them to you in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us when praying together to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
we stand in the presence of God, let us say what we most deeply believe using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. And let us pray. Lord God of grace, as we attend now to the hearing of Scripture, and as we hear the proclamation of the good news in song, we pray that You will visit us by the power of Your Spirit, giving us a deep awareness of Your presence with us opening our hearts and minds to Your eternal truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Two Scripture readings, one from the Old Testament, one from the New, from the prophet Isaiah. Listen now for God's Word to us. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up and do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. And then from the second chapter of Luke's Gospel. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of a great joy for all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace among those whom He favors. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
And now in response to God's generosity to us, let us present God's tithes and our offerings. Lord God of grace, hear our praise as we offer ourselves to You. Receive these gifts and receive us that we might be at work in Your kingdom, doing Your work in this world to the honor and glory of Your name. And for the sake of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
Let's stand together. We stand not only to receive the charge and benediction, but also because it is customary when the Hallelujah Chorus is sung or heard to stand. It's almost impossible not to stand. And it's also impossible not to want to sing. And you have a little cheat sheet provided for you as an insert for those of us who couldn't read the score if our lives depended on it. This helps us sing along with the choir, the Hallelujah Chorus. But first, hear these words. Let the glad good news of this season fill your heart and shape your life so that you might be a living testimony, a witness to what God has done and is doing in the world through Jesus Christ. And may grace, mercy, and peace, the triune blessing of a triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and abide with you, with those you love, and with God's people everywhere, now and forevermore. Amen.
I want you to send me some stuff. I want you to send me some stuff. I want you to send me some stuff. I want you to send me some stuff.